Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a rooibos tea latte. Now I like making lattes at home because really if you have the ingredients, milk, tea, matcha, whatever it is that you're making a latte from, it's so easy to make it at home and the only reason we drink it at coffee shops is because we've got company that we're meeting there or we're on our way somewhere and we just don't have the convenience to heat up and steam our milk like they have. So. I like to, if I have a chance, quickly just add some milk to a pot at home and make my own latte that way because they have a lot of money doing that and, well, it actually can taste better depending on what kind of milk you enjoy. I probably can't get too much into milk here, but uh, we love to drink real, real milk if you can catch my drift. And so I can get that at home better than I can get out there, of course. And so. Anytime I can make a latte at home, that is my go-to. So I'm going to show you how I make lattes right here on my stove. Of course, if you have that very quick um, machine that can do it all for you, that's all great. And there are some out on the market that are easy to use, easy to clean in your dishwasher. And so I totally see why you would pay some money for the convenience of having that at least. I have not found one that I love very much. My friend has one that I love and should just bite the bullet and buy, but I have not gotten around to doing that. Right now my pot works just fine for me. So I'm gonna get some milk on the stove here, get that heated up, and then we'll talk all about rooibos tea and its benefits. So I'm just simply eyeballing, you can measure this out. Um, I've done this enough now that I just know I just pour my milk straight into the pot. It's kind of on a very high heat, but not high enough that it would uh, boil over or burn. Well, no, it will boil over if you walk away, so you want to stay close. But it's high enough to get things going, but let that come to kind of a boiling point. Now you want to stay close because if it boils over, it's just a big mess. <laughs> so stay close, nice and high. Let's get that heated. All right, now the benefits of rooibos tea are Wow, just bountiful. There's a reason why people are turning to this tea um, for a lot of medicinal reasons. Uh, it's filled with antioxidants and a lot of vitamins and minerals that can just really aid your health. And now I have uh, gotten this pack here from my dad who recently returned. Um, so that's really sweet and I'll show you a close up of what the uh, tea actually looks like. So you can see it's kind of sticky yeah, like looks like little sticks that have all been cut up into smaller chunks. And it is a red tea uh, in comparison to, let's say, a black tea. And it's not caffeinated, which is why a lot of people are turning to it instead. I like to drink uh, rooibos tea. Well, we've drank it forever because I'm South African. Uh, and so this is native to South Africa. It's a tea that grows specifically in a region in the south called Cedarburg. And... Um, yeah, the plant is just native to the area and actually has a very difficult time growing anywhere else because it relies heavily on plants in its area and their root systems and the climate and forest fires and things like that all to grow and germinate. So very interesting plant and I did make a video about its history and um, just some of the specifics of the health benefits where I really unpack that a little bit more and so if you're interested in that I will link that for you down below. I just want to give you a quick overview of why this is a good tea. Well, one of them I've already mentioned, no caffeine, so that's quite a big benefit for most people who are trying to drink tea but not get a caffeine high. It's also filled with flavonoids which helps fight cancer and other diseases so it can really protect your immune system from, yeah, infection, so that's very healthy to have. It also tastes really good, so you're almost taking in this medicine but in a way that tastes good. Uh, for me, that's I know taste isn't all that important, but for me it is. If I can actually enjoy what I'm drinking because it is good, that just makes it all the better. Now it's also filled with antioxidants, specifically, uh, let me see if I can remember their names. No, I can't, so I'm going to read them for you. Polyphenol, ashvalatin, and quercetin. Now these three antioxidants are very um, beneficial, specifically because target specific things that just are really probably good for our times. Like polyphenol specifically protects your body against oxidative stress which can be caused by pollution, um, smoking, 
alcohol, um, yeah, any kind of just stress from these external things that we don't really have control over. So that's that's a wonderful thing to be having. It can balance your glucose levels. So if diabetes is something that is an issue in your family, uh, this can help for that. And it just keeps your heart beating normally and your body healthy. And so. Robusti is something that I consume a lot, it's something that Africans consume a lot, and I think it's something that's about to gain a lot of popularity and people are about to start having a lot more of. And so, let's make this latte. I'll show you how easy it is now. I should mention just before this is done. Oh, and it's getting there. I'm just gonna turn it down so it doesn't boil over. If you're making a latte from tea, I like to use some sort of tea bag. Um, to add my loose leaf tea into this and then when it's coming to a heating point like this I like to uh, just stir it in there. If you are going to make it from, if you are going to make some kind of powdered latte situation, um, I will pour the powder straight into my cup, add a little bit of milk, stir that up and then add the rest of the milk because you're trying to dissolve the powder rather than actually trying to get the tea to steep. Now tea won't steep in milk. Well, it probably will, but just not all that effectively. Um, and so I want to do this now while it's kind of heating up um, Yeah, and letting the flavor infuse. So let's do it. Now that it seems like it's getting hot and starting to steam, I'm turning my stove way down. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of this rubus right into this little tea sleeve. and stir it into my pot of uh, hot milk here. And I'm just going to let it steep in here for a couple of minutes and then come back and stir it again. And you'll see that this milk will start to um, turn a little bit kind of red tintish, maybe a light pink. Now I have an upcoming video about this tea cabinet here, which I'm very proud of. Um, and if you are watching this after it has come out, I'll leave a link below. But if it hasn't come out yet, stay tuned. I take you through a journey of my all my teas over here and how I organize them to see what I have and reach them easily. Now if you catch it a little bit late, you can also squeeze the tea bag to release some of that rooibos. Yeah, that's doing a much better job. And you can start seeing a light tinge of, it's more light brown. And now obviously the more uh, tea you add in here, the stronger it'll be. This is starting to look just good. Really, that's all it is. You could be adding sweetener to this if you want to, like some honey or whatever other kind of syrup you like. This is good for me. I just have it straight like this. Here, you can get a good look at that color. And now, if I'm gonna sip on this slowly, I would leave the tea bag in there, take it with me. Um, but I am probably not gonna, so I'll just squeeze out whatever that is left there. And there is my Robo's Latte. Delicious, just milk with some tea. <laughs> um, I'm drinking a lot of this now because I'm pregnant and so going to teas that are non-caffeinated is very important. We can have some caffeine, of course, while you're pregnant, but not heaps. And so I have been having some matcha lattes, which I recently made a video about if you're interested in that, uh, which has some caffeine in it, but also has some other kind of um, 
I forget what it's called, but it has another thing in it that actually sort of combats the caffeine and chills out your body so you don't get a massive caffeine rush. And so I've been having a lot of that. I've also been having turmeric lattes, which I'll make a video about shortly here because it's also very healthy for you, pregnant or not. Um, but anyway, I love my robust, I love warm milk. And so, yeah, I hope that you have found this video helpful. It's just been very short. Again, check out the other video about the all the health benefits of robust tea. I'll also leave a link down below to the blog post, which has it all in bullet form if you're interested in reading it that way. I'm very excited to talk more about herbs and plants that are good for our bodies. I think it's so amazing that God has created all of these things to nourish us. And so as we discover, or other people that are way smarter than me, figure out what it all is good for in our bodies, and we consume them and see the impacts that they have on our bodies, I'm happy to come and share my experience here. And so if you found that interesting, would you consider sticking around and subscribing to this channel? And then you can catch some of our upcoming content.